Justin Coughlin. He is more than just a jazz pianist. He's an educator, a composer, and someone who honors the masters. Justin is with us live. Justin, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Hey, thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Well, you'll be at Jazz St. Louis later this month. What can we expect at your show? Well, we're going to be doing a combination of things. Um, uh, a buddy of mine made a film called Keep On Keeping On, which is a sort of tribute uh, and an homage to Clark Terry, our teacher. And uh, we'll be showing uh, sections of the film and having a, a like a discussion Q&A. Um, we're going to share about um, experiences with Clark. And um, after that, we'll be doing a live uh, performance with my trio. Uh, me, Billy Williams, and Arthur Moyler on bass, Billy on drums, and we'll be uh, featuring music written by Clark Terry and, and playing some songs that I wrote in dedication to him. You have an amazing relationship with Quincy Jones. What have you learned from him? <laughs> I've learned a lot. Uh, I, I, something that I find fascinating about him and uh, about Clark um, is, is no matter how long they've been around and how much they've they've mastered um they they're constantly wanting to learn and and discover new things um and i think that's that's what keeps quincy so just quincy <laughs> <laughs> i anybody who knows quincy jones which everybody does they get it so quincy you are an educator yourself what lessons from clark terry and quincy jones do you pass along to your students uh, the thing that resonated with me spending time with them is, um, as as a teacher, it you are there to impart information and to teach. But uh, more importantly, I think there's this the, the element of actually genuinely caring for your student um, and wanting to see them grow uh, because you want the best for them. Uh, I think that's something that helped me uh, grow so much was knowing that oh, actually, this person believes in me. Um, it, it makes a big difference. And you have such a busy 2022 plan. Can you tell us about that? Well, we're, we're slowly getting out of, you know, crazy um, pandemic land and uh, heading back out on the road. Um, first larger trip I'll be making is, is heading out to Denmark um, yeah. with a good buddy of mine, Danish bass player Thomas von Ischbeck. So. The doors are slowly opening and we're very excited to be able to play live again. What is it about Jazz St. Louis that makes it such a perfect venue to come here to St. Louis of all the places you could go here? Oh, I think it's, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of great places to be able to play, um, but but I, I, I'm so happy with what they're doing with, uh, it's gonna be a whole week long celebration for Clark Terry and since St. Louis Clark's home. Um, I, I'm, I'm just glad that I can be a part of it. Uh, we'll be actually celebrating, uh, doing our performance on his birthday, the 14th. Well, we're definitely looking forward to it. And you can vibe with Justin Coughlin next Tuesday night, December 14th. Doors open at six. This will be at Jazz St. Louis. That's at 3536 Washington Avenue in Grand Center. We have a link at box2now.com. Justin Coughlin, thank you so much for joining us today and have a great show. Thank you. Take care.